Now, whenever that name Jeep is mentioned, immediately that TV program MASH springs to mind. Now, that was set way back in the Korean War. But we've got to go further back to find out when Jeep became world famous. That was when it was used by the American troops. That, of course, was in World War II. It was rough, rugged and reliable. Now, Jeep has certainly come a long way since then. And today, we're going to take a look at their price leader, the new Jeep Compass. Jeep, of course, is made in the good old US of A, in fact, Illinois, to be more precise. The Compass was first released in Australia in 2007, but was only available to 2009. Now it's back, and what an improvement in looks. In fact, this model has borrowed the front-end styling of the new Grand Cherokee. Now, how about the price? It starts at 26,500, but it's not four-wheel drive, it's only two-wheel drive. It's Jeep's first venture into two-wheel drive. They have seen how quickly the SUV market is growing, so they have jumped aboard. Now that price comes in at the lower end of the market, and of course its competitors are Nissan, Kia and Mitsubishi. Now Jeep man through and through is new car sales manager for Wanneroo Jeep, Brian Miller. Brian, why would I buy one of these cars? Well, like you said, Ross, Starting at the lower, lower end of the market, 26 and a half, it comes with all your features you need, your safety features, side curtain airbags, onboard computer, electronic stability control. When you look at the front end of the vehicle, it gives you the heritage feel, the seven slot grille. Now, the Grand Cherokee took out numerous awards in 2012, and I can see this one taking out a few. But the most important thing is value for money and don't look past the Jeep Compass in 2012. The Compass is powered by a two-litre with a five-speed manual gearbox. And for a couple of grand more, you can opt for an auto. They carry a 100,000 kilometre warranty. And the big thing is, they only have to be serviced every 12,000 kilometres. Now, there are three models in the Compass lineup, and today's vehicle is the base model. Well, here she is, 4.4 metres in length. As far as looks go, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now this one comes with alloys, 17 inch of course, fog lights front and rear. But the question is, how does she go? I did drive one of the old models a few years back and I can tell you the interior in this is light years ahead from that previous model. The suspension is quite good, absorbing those rougher gutters and bumps in its stride. The steering is very light and has little feel, but is predictable. Now there is plenty of leg and headroom in both front and rear, but there is a very small downside, and that's the lack of visibility out through the rear. That's due to the large headrests and large rear pillars. Now the seats are very comfortable, and there is very little engine noise at highway speed. At 26,500, the Jeep Compass is well worth a look. For more info or a test drive, drop into Wanneroo Jeep or jump onto your computer and punch in zoomtv.com.au and follow the links.